Hear me. Is that your new tape? Star Lord. Who's the guy with the scary eyes? He doesn't have a name. He's one of the space riders. And he's not scary. He's cool. Your space rider certainly got his hands full. Pretty far out. Nobody says far out anymore, Ma. <laughs> Ma. What? Nobody says far out anymore. Oh, well, your mom does. Maybe we should see if we could get tickets to see them live. Really? Mm hmm Your mom may not look it, but I was quite the rocker when I was your age. Your father and I would just lie on the hood of my old Chevy and listen to Black Sabbath and... You like Black Sabbath? Like I said, your mom's cooler than you think. Oh, we'd look up at the stars, and he'd tell me all about the places he'd been. Mom? How about some cake, huh? Yeah, I'll be up in a sec. You said that 15 minutes ago. If you don't hurry, I'm gonna eat that whole cake myself. No, you wouldn't. Yes, I would. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yes, I would. Hey, watch the hair. <laughs> Peter! We've talked about you leaving your toys on the floor. It's not a toy. It's an action figure. More like an action landmine. Stab your foot. I will. He doesn't even... Never mind. Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec. I promise. Right. Oh man, I can't wait to play this. Maybe I can convince Annie to buy it with his paper out money. Can't believe I caught this. That maiden show was awesome. Hope Mom wasn't joking about seeing Star-Lord. Yeah, if they ever decide to play out here in the boonies. Oh, man. 
Traveling through space must be amazing. The final battle was awesome. Looked like the heroes were done for, but they pulled it off. This will be worth hundreds of dollars someday. I gotta beat Janie's high score. This is embarrassing. Three natural ones in a row last game? Some bard I turned out to be. It's pretty crazy that all that destruction started from one little mistake. Need to build up my calluses. Keep hitting those dingers, George. You'll make it in the Hall of Fame for sure. The movie was okay. The soundtrack really kicked butt. Fingers are still cramped from trying to bookmark pages. I know it's not how you're supposed to play, but I'm tired of dying everywhere. Well, I'll just peel the stickers off and put them in the right spot. I'd love to be able to ride one of those light cycles. Peter Quill, Quill, Quill. Peter Quill, wake up. Holy crap, Drax. You gotta stop doing this, man. It's weird. We are approaching the quarantine zone. How long was I out for? 15,338 ticks. That's very specific. The Betrayer is ready to begin our mission. She has requested your presence in the cockpit. Gamora's on our side, Drax. She is the spawn of my sworn enemy, a murderess and a traitor. I do not trust her. We'll try. We're supposed to be a team. I make no promises.
Oh, it ain't just a junkyard. The quarantine zone's the biggest pile of galactic war debris in the known universe. Just think of all the tech we can find. I am Newt. Hey, it's only illegal if Novacore finds us inside, which they won't. Roots right to be nervous, Rocket. Don't underestimate the Novacore. I am Newt. Oh, come on. Am I the only one who ain't scared of the galactic police? They've got the numbers on us. But they ain't got the brains. Ha! I am Groot. Sure takes a genius to catch my ship. My ship? Who said that? Quill! I am Groot. No, I, I think I heard him. Nah, never mind. She's only been here a few months, but her room's already decked out. So, Drax, excited to meet our buyer after we catch the monster? Of course. Lady Hellbender is a legendary warrior and a noble queen. And she's rich. That is not a prowess, simply a commercial fact. As long as she buys her monster, she doesn't need to be royalty. You are jealous of her status. No thanks! Being a queen means being born with a target on your back. Kind of like the one on yours. Ugh. <sighs> Wonder if Drax was allowed to decorate his cell in the kiln. Probably not. <laughs> oh yeah, you remember that dealer who asked about the emitters? After you left, he <laughs> he leans over at me and he says. Not so sure about tooth cleaning tablets. Manual brushing is where it's at. I am Groot. Just pocketing a little something so this job don't turn out like our monster hunting gig in the Hilda Cluster. Please. Ah, there you are, Quill. Tell Groot to stop worrying about getting arrested. I am Groot. I'm not overconfident. I'm just the right level of confidence. <laughs> Arrested? For what? <sighs> our ship just accidentally slipped into the quarantine zone. Oops, our navigation malfunctioned. Oops. <sighs> How would we accidentally cross into the Novacore force field? <sighs> Details! <sighs> This moment of quiet reminds me of the legendary siege of Seknarf 7. Oh, not again. It is said that Lady Hellbender held her breath through ten moons while riding across the stars on the back of a great horned beast. And when she when arrived... When she arrived, she exhaled, and the wind blew away the Shatari. Indeed, it did. I am Groot. If he realized it didn't make no sense, he wouldn't be telling it. Nice. Rocket finally cleaned up the fur balls. You're welcome. Morgoth be with you. Hey, Morgoth yourself. I am Groot. Morgoth is a politeness thing? Katathian customs don't make no sense to me, bud. Rocket! Why are the array cables everywhere on the floor? I'm working on it! <sighs> Hey, uh, Groot, did that escort job on Orga ever pan out? <clears throat> what do you mean you never called her back? Don't know if you noticed, but we're flarkin' broke. <clears throat> what? Wait, 
What kind of escort was that contract about? <laughs> yeah, maybe I'd rather be broke. Nice gizmos rocket. I'm calling them thumpers on account of the noise they make. Assuming we get past the force field and reach your coordinates in one piece, all we gotta do is set them up, and these babies are gonna draw out our monster in no time. <laughs> How's that even gonna work? The thumper goes beep, 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 and the monsters come running? Eh, it goes more like, uh, wah! This ruckus at once! <laughs> and then the monster comes a-running out of its hole. Are you sure about that? Hey, all my intel came from your source. My sources are very reliable. Those coordinates are 100% pointing towards a rare, elusive, priceless creature. With no physical description to go by. What do you think elusive means? It don't matter what the monster looks like. As long as it's got ears, you can be sure my thumpers are gonna drive it right into our arms. Nice! Soon as I reconfigure them, you better not try to sell them off. Not like I'd make any money. Things are so cheap they couldn't align two magnetized connectors. <laughs> Drax, <laughs> about Gamora. Can this not wait, Peter Quill? I am readying my body for battle. Uh, <laughs> you know we're supposed to capture this monster, right? Not kill it. Of course. But I suspect it will not go down without a fight. Cool it, muscles. Lady Hellbender ain't gonna buy damaged goods. I will aim to preserve the integrity of the beast as best I can. Good. Good old Milano. Engine parts from at least five different black markets. What is it? Dude, take five. We gotta talk about that Gamora thing. She's waiting for you in the cockpit. I know, I know, I just meant... Are you gonna be okay? You two are gonna be alone on the ship for a while. Rest assured, Peter Quill. I will keep a watchful eye and thwart any attempt at treachery. Or... You could try trusting her. <laughs> you are naive, Peter Quill. She is a mistress of deceit. Peter Quill, we must soon discuss the status of my official team membership badge. Drax, once again, there is no official badge. <laughs> Obviously, you would not have one, Assassin. The small one indicated the procedure is a well-guarded secret. Rocket, stop messing with him. <laughs> All good, buddy? I'm Groot. You know, I don't understand you, Groot, but I'm gonna assume you just said something super kind and thoughtful. <laughs> I am Groot. What did the tree say? No idea. Groot really needs to get these plants under control.
here, Peter. Hey, that's my chair. Oh, then why aren't you in it? I was, uh, strategizing. It's one thing to get into the zone, but we still gotta catch that monster. Right. So did I miss anything? Other than a ton of suspicious glares from Drax, not really. Now, if you're done strategizing, feel free to grab your seat. We're almost ready to go.